Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about enabling rsync on a Synology NAS and then connecting to it using the command line. So, so I'm logged into my Synology NAS here. I want to go to the control panel. And if you don't have it on your desktop, you can go up to your main menu and select control panel. And then I want to go to file services and then click on the rsync tab and then click enable rsync service. And then the default port is 22, which is the SSH port. And I'll leave that as is. And I'm going to leave this enable rsync account unselected. And then you can change the speed limit if you need to. I'm going to leave it as is. So I'll hit apply down here. And then I'll click on the little home icon here. So you'll see this terminal and SNMP. If you're in basic mode, you won't see that. You can click to advanced mode, click on that, and then make sure you have the enable SSH service uh, turned on, which I already do. So I'll minimize this. And now I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to type SSH, and then my username, at, and then the IP address of the Synology NAS. It's going to ask for my password. I'll type that in. So I'm in the server right now. I can type ls, and we see I have my Synology drive folder. And if I type pwd, which means print working directory, we'll see them in var services, homes, and then RIC. So if I, cop if I rsync to my home directory, we'll land in this directory. If I type cd space forward slash, and then type ls, we'll see um, the like root directory here, and we'll see this volume one. So most Synology NASes, I'm guessing you're gonna see volume one unless you've changed it and made multiple volumes. So if I type CD volume one and type LS, we'll see all the uh, directories I have set up here. So I have a share called DS underscore share here. And so if I CD into that, and then I can type PWD, print working directory, and we see this is forward slash volume one, forward slash DS share. So if I want to rsync anything into here, then I'll use this directory path. So, and I'm just logging into SSH to show you how to navigate and see where we're going to send things with rsync. So I'll exit this, I'll clear the screen. I'm gonna to go to my desktop here on my Mac, and I've got this boat races folder. So I'll CD into boat races, and we have this beach folder here. So that has a bunch of images in it. So I'll type rsync space dash a, and if we type man rsync, we'll see what these options mean. So A is archive, and it says it's the same as dash R-L-P-T-G-O capital D. So you can look through all these other options and see exactly what those are, but it mainly does recursive and a couple other things um, when you're transferring. And then we do V, and if we scroll down here, V is verbose, so that gives us some output. It's on here somewhere, but. <laughs> um, and then U is update, and then Z is compress. So I'm uh, transferring images right now, but if you have text, compress can really speed things up. It's probably not a big deal for now, but I'm, for the demonstration, I'll use it here. So then we want our source, so that will be the beach folder. And then we want the destination. So I'll type rick at, and I'll type 192.168.7.2, which is my Synology NAS. I'll type a colon. And then since I want the home directory, I'll type the tilde and then forward slash. So this will copy the beach folder with everything in it to the um, home directory of user rick on the Synology NAS. So I'll hit that. It lasts for my password, and now it's transferring all those files, and it'll show you as it transfers. Okay, so now that's finished, it tells you how much it sent over, and it says speed up is 1.02. So this is um, how much faster it was than just um, copying the file. So it was, you know, 0.02 times faster. So if we run this again, type our password in again. And you'll see the speed up here is 130,000 times faster. And the reason is because it didn't transfer anything. And this is the nice thing about um, rsync. If I take this um, other picture I have here, I'll go into boat races and just drop this into my beach folder. And I'll run this again, type in my password. You'll see it copied that file over. 
um, because it recognized it's a new file. So what I can also do is go into this beach folder and I'll remove this, I'll put it back where it was. Now if I run this again, it doesn't really do any changes. So what I want to do is I want to go to the beginning, I'll type control A to jump to the beginning here, and after A, B, U, Z, I'll type space, dash, dash, delete. And then I'll run it again like this. And this will delete the file on the server that's not on the local system. So utilizing this, you can um, synchronize things between two systems. So any changes I make to that beach folder, as long as I run this, it will add or remove items um, you know, every time you run it. And you can see the speed up here is super fast, deleting uh, when we added the file here. Um, you know, even then the speed up was, you know, 12,000 times speed up compared to transferring everything. So it's very efficient in that way. So now if I wanted to, you know, transfer something to this DS share, I can do the same thing. So I'll go back to my previous line, but here I want to type volume one forward slash and DS underscore share and then forward slash. And say I'm not sure this will work and I don't want it to start transferring yet. I can type control A and I can go back here and add an end to the end here. And what that does is that's for a dry run. So if we do that and run this, it will show us everything that was, is going to get transferred. So that looks good. So I'll go back here and I'll remove the end, type in my password, and it will transfer all these files. Okay, so that's finished. Okay, so we'll put up my ds underscore share here. And we should see beach here. I'll open that up. And you can see all the image files are in there. So it was able to save those over. So that's the basics of using rsync to connect to a Synology NAS. Um, there are many more complexities to this. I'll put a link in the description to not only my Synology playlist, I have a playlist on SSH also. And in I have a video there you can find where I connect using SSH and it stores the password so you don't have to type it in each time. And you can use the same technique with rsync, so that's kind of convenient. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.